I have to tell you that my heart is overflowing with gratitude this morning for each of you, for all that you do and all that we are. What an enormous joy it is for me to stand before you and offer gratitude for the part you play in making UCM the beacon of light that it is. As chair of, leader of the leadership committee, along with Susan Hogan, Joan Ashdown, and Reverend Fiona, we have the privilege of seeing you in action. How committed you are to this place we call the Unitarian Congregation in Mississauga. We see you, we hear you, and this morning we are here to honor you. The history of this congregation started way back in the early 50s with the enormous gift of time, talent, and dedication of our founders. They had the imagination and the foresight to purchase an apple orchard and establish a liberal faith community here. From humble beginnings, we have evolved into who we are on this beautiful oasis that we have created. We can all be grateful that they said yes to their vision. Richard Wagamese and his collection of medica meditations, it's also medicated as well, but his meditations, Embers, urged us to consider that there is only one way to say yes with your whole being. When you do that, you choose that word. It becomes the most spiritual word in the universe and your world can change. Thankfully, our ancestors said yes. And through these past seven de decades, each generation has strengthened their legacy. The gratitude offered this morning is not simply committee limited to committee work. It is for everything you do within these walls and beyond. We are a faith community. We celebrate you for who you are and you are encouraged to bring your whole self to this place. Expressing gratitude is the act of showing appreciation for what you have received and it is as rewarding for the giver as it is the receiver. Many people engage in the spiritual practice of writing gratitude journals. And that simple act is a reminder and a reinforcement of the good things in their lives. Each week we bump elbows and proclaim, from you I receive to you I give. Together we share and by this we live. This is how we live offering lay chaplaincy services, caring for this property, both inside and out, renting it out for others to enjoy, hanging artwork on the walls, or simply serving coffee, and even some days sweeping the sidewalk. This work is accomplished by committed, a committed group of people saying yes, yes, with their whole being. Robin Will Kimmer writes in Braiding Sweetgrass, this is our work to discover what we can learn, the nature of your own gifts and how to use them for good in the world. She believes that we have a responsibility to reciprocate by acknowledging our gifts and sharing them with the world and share we do. One just has to read our annual report to witness how our gifts are shared. When, repair, when preparing my remarks previously as a service leader or today as a speaker, I quote the sage Richard Wagamese or Robin or sometimes Maya Angelou or Mary Oliver. However, as insightful and as wise as these people are, 
I was looking for something more specific today. So in per preparation of today's reflection, I read our annual report. When one is looking for a source of gratitude, you need look no further. I urge you to read the report. It is full of inspirational words and phrases, such as proud, community, connections, delight, diligently develop leadership and reimagine. And I am going to lift up the words of our, the leaders of our community and share them with you this morning. I have taken some of the comments of our co-presidents of the board, some committee chairs and woven them into a chorus of thanksgiving in celebration and recognition of what we create here as a caring community. Our retiring diligent, diligent co-presidents wrote, we are very grateful to the congregational leaders, volunteers and staff who have collectively ensured that UCM remained vital and interconnected, committed to our now eight principles and our DNA. UCM takes us out of the ordinary. We are an intentional community who gathers together to deepen our spirit, nurture community and act for an equitable, sustainable world. And I am grateful that, the, that congregational life continued to thrive during the ongoing COVID restrictions. And I am going to lift up the words of our worship chair who recognize the vibrant team of service leaders with each with their own valuable skills and unique energies. Sincerest gratitude and joy for the superheroes that are the extended service team support, the intrepid Zoom hosts, the AV wizards, the steady cam operators, and the video editing artists. The chorus grows louder. We acknowledge the work of the Canvas Committee, whose efforts resulted in exceeding our 2022 campaign target, and also to all those who dug deep to support the work of this community. All volunteer efforts are essential to the continued vibrancy of UCM. And we thank the Personnel Committee, who encourages a positive, safe working environment in which employees and service contracts feel valued, supported, and safe. And we recognize the, and acknowledge the invaluable work of the Caring Circle. The dedication of each volunteer is vital to the health and well-being of this community. And we thank the Finance Committee in, for their diligence in keeping our finances in good order and our communications team and our CUC liaison committee. It goes on and on and on. The Mark DeWolf Award Committee who seeks out nominations for outstanding social action contributions by our members. And I guess speaking of social action, a guest speaker once stood at this very podium and pronounced that when it comes to social justice issues, Unitarians punch above their weight. We can be very proud in this area. Impressed? Well, I hope you are. And as Fiona quoted in the Order of Service, Charles Essenstein, another way to see the unexpected fruits that arise from the mystery is when we live in the spirit of the gift. Magic happens. Magic happens here with every act, every day, every week, year after year. This is the giving nature of this congregation. And as Reverend Fiona reminds us, each of you matter, all of us matter, and together we make a difference. Thank you, miigwech, dante, merci.